Hello everyone. Welcome back to The Fire and the Rain Part 8. For convenience, I have divided today's portion into three parts. The first one, Nitilai runs away from her husband. We have already seen in the Act 2 that Nitilai is to be married to a man from her own tribe. In this act, we understand that uh, she she was married to a man from her own tribe and she has run away from him in order to meet uh, Aravasu. The act 3 opens. We see Nitilai with Aravasu. She says she has run away from her husband. She had been living with her husband, adjusting with her new life. However, she was heartbroken when she heard how Aravasu was accused of the murder of his father and was beaten up. Thus, she ran away from her husband to find him. So that was the first part of it. Then Paravazu's betrayal. We have seen that in the last act that Paravazu accused the murder of his father on Paravazu. Paravazu feels that he was severely betrayed by his brother. Paravasu. Aravasu had gone to meet him, but he did not come out. Instead, he said, Out, out, demon, away with you. Aravasu wanted to take revenge on him for the wrongs he has done to him. Meanwhile, Nitlai feels that she has disgraced her husband. Her husband and his tribe will come in search of her at any moment. Nitlai wished to leave the rest of her life with Aravasu, if not as a wife, as a sister to him. He is free to marry any girl he likes. But Aravasu says that it is only Nitlai that he loves. Aravasu feels that the whole events were planned by his brother to obstruct his marriage to Nitilai. Aravasu was ready to give up. Aravasu was ready to give up his caste for marrying her. So Paravasu conspired to secretly planned to block his marriage. That is how Aravasu feels. The death of Yavakri and the murder of Raipya were part of his plan. Paravasu, his wife, Vishakha and many others helped him in this plan. However, Nitilai doesn't believe him. She asked him to discard the plans of revenge. The whole family is being consumed by revenge. Yavakri avenged his father's humiliation by seducing Vishakha. Raipi avenged it by killing Yavakri. Paravasu killed his father. She begs Aravasu to stop it. That was the second part. And now the actor manager appears. Actor manager is actually Sutradhara of a drama. Sutradhara. Sutradhara is a particular character in ancient dramas. He is a character in the drama. At the same time, he is the actor manager who 
plans and arranges it so while netlai and aravasu are together the actor manager comes then the actor manager comes netlai tells aravasu that it was the actor manager who saved his life aravasu was lying in the cemetery his body burning with fever actor manager replies that he only found him it was netlai who nursed him back to life the actor manager admires netlai's self selfless and selfless devotion and love for aravasu aravasu promises never to hurt her just then netlai's brother and husband enter enter the scene netlai freezes and flies from there in panic in fear but they have not seen her the actor manager came to the cemetery to bury an old man in their group it was thus he saw aravasu lying there half dead aravasu asks why they bury their dead instead of cremating cremating means burning in fire actor manager replies that they are actors they belong to the family of actors the job acting was entrusted to them by their ancestors it was earth who gave life to them when they die when the actors die they hand over their job to their children and hand over the body back to earth so that is the answer the actor manager gives to aravasu when aravasu asks why uh, their community is burying the body instead of cremating the actor manager is planning to perform the play the triumph of lord indra on the day of the fire sacrifice fire sacrifice is to be held on the last day of the yajna it is a play about the struggle between lord indra and vritra but actor manager is running short of actors so aravasu performs dance in front of actor manager and seeing the dance he decides to include aravasu in the drama in the role of vritra actor manager himself will play the role of indra meanwhile netlai is very much frightened of whether she will be found out by her brother and husband however the jungle is like home to her she is confident that she will be able to escape from them finally the permission to play the drama perform the drama is granted the audience including paravasu and the king occupy their places to watch the performance so act 3 ends here so dear students now hope you have understood the structure of the drama the flashback which started in the beginning of act 1 ends here at the end of the prologue the play within the play was about to begin now after act 3 the flashback ends and the play within the play is presented as the epilogue the end so you can see the structure of the play like this the prologue tells about the beginning of a play that is a play within the play 
then act 1 is flashback act 2 is flashback and act 3 is flashback and it ends then the epilogue from prologue we the the player referred in the prologue is performed in the epilogue so in the next class we will see we will discuss the epilogue so hope you understood the story till now thank you